Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take it again. Show it one more time. <laughs> Ta-da! What you just saw in that video was a person with a lot of tension in her body. And the tension was actually coming from her occlusion, her teeth, how her teeth were touching. Remember, we have chains of muscles that connect that our head to our feet. We're all connected either directly or indirectly through chains of muscles that have to contract and then relax to make us move. But she was stuck with some muscular chains that wouldn't turn off and that's why her left pelvis was forward and her right arm could not move down. Her leg couldn't go down to the bench and her right arm wouldn't go down to the bench. Uh, it's because certain muscular chains were overactive and wouldn't shut off and that was coming from the teeth. The teeth were starting a chain of events. Her jaw muscles were tight, influenced her neck muscles to stay tight, and then influenced everything on down to stay tight. So she could move, but she couldn't do it without compensation in the same way that she can breathe, but because of the position she's in, she's also using compensation to breathe. So a lot of times people are really good at compensating until they no longer can, and then the body can often start to break down and start to get pain. And unfortunately, if you say she had hip pain, which she, if she has an uncomfortable left hip, if she went to a physical therapist or a chiro or, or a doc, any type of doctor and they try to work on the hip, try to stretch the hip, do whatever, it's not going to resolve because the issue is from up here. Until you took away her, t her bite with this little mouth guard, her body couldn't relax. So nothing you do with the hip is going to change because the issue is coming from up top. That's not to say everyone has teeth issues, but it is pretty common. And the fact is, if you cannot get your body from tension to a relaxed position, you don't really know what you have. So what postural restoration does is take all this into account. And we understand how muscular chains can be overactive. We have to turn those off. Turning off those muscular chains can then allow you to rotate, shift side to side, go forward and back without compensation. And that's when you start to feel better.